So we've been talking about the Mass Effect 3 ending all week and the D Day 1 DLC as separate issues that are two of the reasons that Mass Effect 3 is leaving a bad taste in a lot of gamers' mouths. But really, we haven't really connected the two. But I've been doing a lot of thinking as to why the ending is the way it is. And I believe that DLC is the reason, the sole reason, actually. Because why else would they take a game that's all about choice and then make the ending essentially the same exact scene played out three slightly different ways. Because if they really wanted to do three diverse endings that showed complete resolutions for each of your actions that you did in the, the control and the synthesis destroy option, that would have destroyed any future chance they had at DLC later on because that would have forced them to create three separate DLC pathways. They're not going to make three different batches of DLC for that. So they wanted one ending that could be interpreted in, you know, some cryptic way that would allow for them to make one follow-up that would, you know, acquiesce to any ending you chose. Because otherwise, you know, they would have not been able to do DLC unless they did, like, Deus Ex's Missing Link DLC where they just inserted a mission into the middle, which I don't think they wanted to do. So really, we don't get a satisfying resolution because they really they wanted to sell more DLC down the line and they haven't announced it yet but you can bet they're going to and when they do like that's gonna you know piss everyone off again and I'll be writing more articles about it and I'm warning them I don't think they should charge people for it because it's like people might buy it but no one is gonna trust Bioware again after this and if the entire ending debacle was just to sell more DLC they're gonna lose all the fan support they have left 